Hey guys, how are y'all today? So this is a topic I've been wanting to talk about. Now, this is not something I have done, but I've been thinking about it, giving it a try just to see what happens, but I've been laying low. So as you can see here, it's like, should you put your herpes status on your dating profile? My whole thing is right now, I'm not on dating sites. I'm not even doing anything at the moment. Right now, I'm chilling. Um, but when I was on dating sites, I never thought to do it. I'd never really... It was never really a thing to me, but I have heard other people do it. I have heard other herpes activists do it. I've heard ladies in the group um, do it, things like this. Some I heard ladies do. I have not heard any men do this. So, okay, ladies, I'm only talking to y'all guys. I'm not talking to y'all at this moment. But if you're a guy and you have ever put that on your dating site, I would love to know what your take is. So, please comment below and let me know what you think. If you're a woman and ever put your herpes status on your dating profile tell me what site that you use and also what did you say did you say herpes positive did you say hsv1 hsv2 i would love 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 to hear that and also your experience with it um but i did see other herpes activists doing i was like okay that's pretty cool a lot of people say they got good 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 responses a lot of people reached into their um messages and saying hey you know you know that was brave of you you know i'm i'm i applaud you for doing it that's something i possibly wouldn't do but you know i would like to get to know you things like that for me y'all want to know what i think okay you want to know what i think okay one thing i have learned me being as public as i am one thing i have learned is that many people will come towards you because you are doing what they kind of fear to do or would love to do but won't do or they just see a type of boldness in you that they appreciate um and people look at boldness as a really good value like it's a very good thing it shows a lot about your character it also shows that you're willing to stand up for what you believe in it also believes that you know you you have confidence in yourself and who you are and things like this now this is the other take is i'll say this for my ladies if you are choosing to do this okay confidence and boundaries need to be your two main things because you going you can attract two type of dudes you can attract or guy or girls you can attract somebody who like oh well i can use that against them you know they may be you know have some insecurities about themselves all these things like that or you can meet somebody who like you know what i appreciate you for being so honest you know what i can look past that i'm happy you told me up front so now i can move forward and see what type of person you are but my whole thing is you have to have your confidence because people will try you okay you go get tried and my whole thing is also you need to be confident in yourself and your status you need to have your stats you need to know your stuff for yourself you need to know yourself all right also you need to not be doing this just because you want to get it out of the front okay or you're doing this because you you scared of rejection you got to be doing it because you just want to be honest it's just something you want to do and it's something it's like i just want to get that out of the way so i can really connect with the right people right away if they don't want to talk to me they don't want to talk to me they want to talk they want to talk to me but i will let you know it will be some people who will talk to you and still try to wiggle their way of trying to do some things to you this is not to be negative and no shape perform but i will say for somebody who have been public people will come to me as all my on my uh confidence all this thing like and still try me I, I tell you now still try me still try to drag me through the mud so i'd let you guys know that that is possible but you have to make sure your confidence is is is, is solid all right you also got to be real with yourself you also have to have your boundaries and you also have to know and pay attention to that person not pay attention to that person because you're looking for that person to drop the ball or looking for that person to say they don't want to be with you because of your status but you want to listen to what the person say but also you want to pay attention to the person you want to know if that person is really into you for real or just into your honestness because honestly most people are not that honest about sti up front so many people look at it as a state of if they're that honest about this they're probably gonna be honest about a lot of things but that may not mean you attracted an individual as as honest as you so also you got to make sure you are vetting this person to make sure this person is as honest as you are are they going to be honest about their status would they pull up them test results would they do some of these things because you don't want to just talk to them just because they said okay just because they said okay so that's my take okay i'm getting to the point that's my take that's just my take i love it i think it's really cool but i also want to look on the back end of it for my ladies who are not as public and not you know 
up up so up front but then thinking about it but my whole thing is you really got to be honest with yourself do you think that's something you want to do how do you feel about it how do you feel about somebody else coming across your page and they seeing it and stuff like that all of that stuff you got to take in consideration this is not a, something to scare you it's something for you to take in consideration of because at the end of the day you don't know who to your dating profile anything like that and you if you're like okay i'm willing to be up front you're willing to be public and my whole thing is your 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 thing is public and you don't know who know who and you don't know who come across your stuff so i'm just being honest with you not scaring you away from it but y'all know me i just like to give my take on it if that's something you want to do put your hands up and say please i'm gonna give it a try and i won't come back and tell y'all what happened or if a person said i wouldn't do it tell me why you wouldn't do it my whole thing is no right or wrong it's just my personal opinion like i said something i have not done not have really thought about doing but hey i applaud the people who do so Tell me what you think. How are you? Also, next thing I want you guys to remember is on this um, Sunday, June 16th, we are having a woman's virtual support group, okay? For you to get in that support group, you have to join my, my support group, which is the Overcomer Support Group. So I'm going to put the link below so you can go over there and you can join the support group. I'll let you into the support group and then you'll have the access to that information that comes on Sunday. So y'all can jump on at 6 p.m. on that Sunday. Also, remember, if you have herpes outbursts, itching, burning, discomfort, you're waiting for, you know, you've been struggling to get your outbreaks to go away or you're in between ongoing outbreaks or you want to help someone prevent your outbreaks then you need to get vanquish care products y'all know i got y'all get those vanquish care products they are all natural y'all it don't have herpes on the package all discreet packaging comes to you asap and they work instantly so that link will be in the description box as well i love y'all and i'll see y'all soon bye